Hello, welcome back adventurers. It's day four, day four, day four. You are joining me on Thursday now. So this is a really exciting collaboration with Victoria from Home Educating the Mad Lads. Eee! I have dinged her channel up here, Badoom. and it is also in the description box. I'm a big fan of hers and I know that some of you guys watch her as well. And we actually had somebody, uh, I think you know who you are if you're watching this, go, oh, I really like you both. And we were like, <laughs> we're doing a collab. So if you're watching this, yay. <laughs> so we are sharing, Victoria and I are sharing the pros and cons as we see it of home education. I'm going to do five of each. And then you need to go over to Victoria's channel, Home Educating the Mad Lads. Um, and check out her five, because they might be the same. They might be different, I don't know. It's all really exciting, and I'm so glad to collaborate with such a great YouTuber. It's really, really exciting. Can you tell I'm excited? Let's go. So, I'm gonna do one pro, and then I'm gonna do one con, and we're just gonna cycle through like that. Okay, ready, let's go. So, my biggest pro is that your children are with you all the time. I love my kids. They are so cool. They are absolutely hilarious. They make me laugh. They're really kind. They're really sweet. And I just love being so intensely involved in everything they do. Everything. Um, <laughs> I love being able to be with them for all of these little educational things, but also all of their life events, all of their firsts. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's like I was meant to be with them all the time and they were meant to be with me all the time. It's really, really nice. And again, as a continuum concept parent, it's really important for our family that we are together as much as possible. Family time is all the time. But also our first con, your children are with you all the time because everyone needs a break and that is something you are gonna have less of when you home educate unfortunately there are days and there's been a lot over the lockdown period when i've just been like <laughs> because i've been so tired and so exhausted and they have been around all the time um obviously i know that lots of you have gone from having them around not very much to having them around all the time and i cannot imagine how exhausting that was for you um because i've had them around all the time anyway and just but just losing that one day a week of forest school or what or, or losing the ability for grandparents to babysit was really tough um I think we're getting to the point now where they will where that will all come back and it's easier but really a support network is key for home educating you really need to find one um there are loads of group on, groups on facebook and i am more than happy if you are local to me in the hampshire dorset area then hit me up on instagram comment on here pop me an email anything like that and i'm happy to connect you to more homeschooling support so my next pro is your children are going to form really deep, long lasting friendships with children they're actually friends with. How many friends from school are you actually friends with now? And I mean deep, deep friendships that you love them more than life itself. I can honestly say there are three people that I went to school with that I love so much. Um, and if they're watching this, they know who they are. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, the rest of them, they are either mild acquaintances or I'm not in touch with them anymore. Like even some of the people that I would have deemed my best, best friends when I was at senior school, when I was at junior school, they are not my friends now. And if they, and maybe we're the kind of people now where we go, oh, hi, if we see each other in the street. But you know, if I was bringing another child into the family or something really horrible had happened in our lives, I wouldn't be sharing it with them now. Um, however, the three that I do, we have something really, really big in common, and that is that we have children. <laughs> um, one of them, we had our first children around the same time, and we've known each other for a really long time. And the other two, um, we again, we've had, we've got children who are the similar age, who are similar ages, and we've just bonded over that. Now, you know, we drifted apart, and then we've come back, and and now we all have really, really great things in common. And actually, we're very similar parents, and it's 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 all fitted together. But the rest of them, you know, really, we were only connected by school. We weren't connected by anything else, and that's okay. 
but my children have these amazing friends that they have met through various different things. Some of them are because we, the mum and I, have met in a forest school group or a homeschool group or anything like that. We've got talking, oh, should we have a play date? And the kids have just hit it off and they've just been just decided, right, that's it, we're best friends forever. Um, Charles's best friend is a lovely little boy who who is about six months older than him and his mum and I hit it off. Their friendship from when they were about 18 months and two years old was really, really, you know, up and down, but they still wanted to keep playing with each other even though they argued every time they saw each other and someone would snatch or someone would throw something and it was very stressful for a while. But now at the ages of eight and nine, they are the best friends in the world and Charles adores this child, like, adores him. And what's even better is that his parents were considerate enough to have a second child who was a year young, who was about um, six months younger than Bessie. Um, no, it's about a year, year younger than Bessie, sorry. And they were, they were considerate enough to have a girl who happens to be Bessie's best friend. So it all worked out for the best. Um, nice one, guys. <laughs> and unfortunately, little Albert doesn't have a buddy in there, but he doesn't mind at all. But their friendships are so deep and they are formed over common interests. They're, they don't have to be friends. They don't have to socialise with each other if they don't want to, but they choose to. And that's just amazing and I love it. And so my second con is that is, is also friendship related and that the socialisation with kids, with, the, with kids their own age, is going to have to be planned out by you and provided by you. It's not going to just happen like it does at school. It's not going to be that forced association of school where they have to socialise with these kids because they are, have to work together because they have to be in the same place all the time, five days a week. You are going to have to plan it out. You're going to have to do play dates. You're going to have to go to groups and stuff like that to get socialisation with children the same age. Now, socialisation at all is going to be fine because you can just go to the corner shop and your child can have social experiences. But socialisation with kids their own age is probably going to have to be planned out. My third pro is educational freedom. I did not cope with being told what to learn at school. I just did not like it. But now I'm an adult and I'm like, oh, I wonder about that. And I can just go and I can research it and I absolutely love. And the, the knowledge stays in my brain way more than anything I learnt at school ever did. And I love that the children have that. I love that I have that. I love that they have that. That is something that homeschooling gives you. Your child can learn what they want to learn what they need to learn for their life and for their goals, not what some idiot in the government who's never been a teacher in his life says they should learn. And my third con is a big one. And I think this puts a lot of people off homeschooling and that is loss of income from one adult in the family not working. And if you are the only adult in the family, that's your income gone unless you can find a way to work around your uh, work around homeschooling which lots of parents do loads of parents do we are a one salary family and he is not even a full time he's not even full time so i totally respect and understand and feel the penny pinchingness that homeschooling on one salary or then no salary brings you it's hard and if you can make it work between two parents or even on your own with childcare, that's amazing and you should really, really look into it. If that's the only thing that's holding you back, it can be done. There are child minors that will take older children, there are forest schools, there are holiday clubs, there are all sorts of things that can happen, um, that can happen to make this happen. For you. Um, my fourth pro is life skills. Life skills are stronger in homeschool children than they are in school children because they are living their life. They are learning the life that they are living. And thus the life skills just come naturally. In school, it's not life skill focused, it's academic focused, and it just doesn't come as easy. Uh, my, my fourth con is that there's no outside recognition for kids who are excelling. Um, I remember at school, if there was ch children that did really, really well, they would get their name in the paper or they would get awards or they'd get book tokens, they'd get certificates and so on and so forth. And there isn't that in home education, apart from inside the family with you going, 
good job buddy um <laughs> or giving them a sticker yourself or a certificate it's not the same as that recognition that whole school recognition that i never ever got um it's not the same it doesn't happen but maybe that's a good thing maybe that's a pro who knows my final pro is term time holidays boop, 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 boop. we love term time holidays we don't take holidays during school school holidays we don't do it and when we are going away on a family trip with people who have kids in school and we have to take them holidays we are disgusted by the prices <laughs> and that's probably one of the reasons why we're always complained at for complaining about the prices because it's it's school holiday prices and it's disgusting um we love term time holidays because you can get like a week's holiday in a caravan park for like a hundred quid self-catering all the things thrown in you can do um the sun holidays you know the vouchers and the holidays you can do those because they are all term time ah. we have had some amazing holidays just going like to the isle of wight and staying in a caravan or going to cornwall and staying in a caravan and then we just go off and explore and have an amazing time they are amazing holidays and they are so so cheap nine pound fifty each that's like 50 pounds it's amazing <laughs> um and our, my final con is my final con that i find really really stressful sometimes and that even if you're a radical unschooler you're gonna have some planning to do because if your kid says mommy i want to learn about this you're gonna have to facilitate that even if you're a radical unschooler you're gonna need to facilitate their education if they want you to help them um and sometimes I feel, find this really, really overwhelming, planning everything out. Sometimes I've spent hours at the computer, <laughs> just hours and hours, and my eyes hurt, and I have an astigmatism anyway. So I'm there, you know, like going at the, at the computer because I've been up there for hours planning stuff out. Books and paper and printing stuff off and binding things and, and, and all of the things is just exhausting. Absolutely exhausting but having that input in their education and riding that journey with them is amazing so maybe some of these cons aren't cons at all maybe they're just minor inconveniences that associate with pros who knows <laughs> i have really enjoyed going through my pros and cons with you and i can't wait for you to watch victoria's video and i can't wait to watch victoria's video i'm really excited i would love to do more collabs with people so hopefully you will have some more in the future maybe i'll do another collab with my sister because that was hilarious thanks so much for watching day four of my not back to school week i will see you tomorrow for day five don't forget to subscribe bye